point where we share the scriptures in the truth, in the devotion that we have. Now, in James chapter 4, verse 4, the Bible says this, that uh, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. That is a very interesting verse that the scriptures should say this, that if we join up or we hook up with the ideals of the world, you know, with the lifestyles, with the way, you know, being Christians in the contemporary world, perhaps the bigger question would be, is even Christianity necessary? Is it even adaptable to the way the world is moving? But there is a point in which you who is a Christian, the Bible cautions and tells us, if we go along the ways of the world, then we'll be like that man who took his vows and got married to that lady or the lady who got married to that man and yet they break their vows. That is adultery. And even when we consider our relationship with God, the Bible tells us that God is a jealous God. Therefore, he demands that we give him our whole 100% um, you know, what, what we call loyalty. So this loyalty cannot just be lost just because we are living in the 21st century, just because technology is here with us, or just because the world is moving at a fast pace. Yet there is a requirement on you and I that we should have friendship with Christ Jesus, who called us just like a marriage setup where our loyalty is key. It is the loyalty that glues that marriage. Can you think about if you and I, who are believers, moved away and we started befriending the world? Earlier on, Maria and I were talking about how is it then possible that a believer who, is, who happens to be a gospel artist would move away and go to the other side. That means perhaps they have started befriending that other side. And it didn't just happen overnight. It's a gradual fade. It's a gradual uh, decline. So that by the end of that time, when you say enough with the gospel and I'm going to embrace the other side, Truly, something has happened on the inward. But we are to love God with all our hearts, with all our mind, with all our soul, so that we would have this commitment to Jesus and only him, being loyal to him, not to be loyal to the world. Because the world and everything that you see today, these tall buildings, these majestic cars that you see riding past, all these, even the economies will come and go. But truly, him who holds on to Jesus will always last, will always outlast the things of the world. And this is where our enmity with the world comes in. Does the Bible tell us to hate the, the people of the world? Definitely not. It tells us to love because even God is love. It is for this reason that he sent Jesus Christ to come and die for you and for me. But our responsibility is to conform only to what is of God, but not to conform to what is of the world. If there's a word like deconform, I would use it because... If our minds are wired towards the way the world is walking or where the world is headed, it's a dangerous place to be at. But if our minds are now going to be wired to what Christ is saying, then that is where we need to be. This is why I am encouraging that whoever is a friend of the world should now start to de-escalate that friendship in order for them to be friendly with Christ Jesus. Amen to that.